Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Uh, it's a sad day for Marcel and I. Um, you know, Lito came by this morning. We were, uh, I had an appointment with Lito this morning to go take a video on a fish pond. And we had set it up yesterday and he came by this morning. And so Marcel and I were getting ready to go. And Muni was in the bedroom. And so I just decided, well, we'll just... I didn't want to leave her in there all morning. No one's, no one would be here. I just didn't want to leave her in the bedroom all morning by herself. So I uh, told Marcel to let her out of the bedroom, and we just let her run around in the house. And uh, so I, I come out, I close the door, and I know she's not behind me. And I go over, and I wanted to because we were leaving, and we were going to be gone for several hours. I wanted to check the chickens because we got a, we got chicks hatching and I wanted to check on them and so Lito and I came over here uh, to the chick room and I went into the chick room and uh, moved a few chicks that had hatched and checked on a couple that weren't doing so good and uh, was in there probably two minutes and then I heard the dogs going off and I look out here and uh, they had Muni and um, so I ran over, I yelled at him, I ran over and uh, Muni was right here and I picked her up and um, I, you know, I looked into her eyes and we both knew. Um, Uh, I took her inside, uh, laid her down on the bed, and uh, it didn't take long. It was only like 30 seconds. And, uh, you know, it, it's my fault, so I told her I was sorry and uh, just held her while she died. Um, I feel bad because, you know, I, uh, I've been thinking about it all day. And um, I did my best to, it obviously wasn't good enough, but I did my best to um, acclimate Muni to these dogs. And she was fine with Buddy, she was fine with Nini, she was fine with Twinkie, she was fine with Bear Bear. Um, Swimmer right there, she was fine with, played with him all the time. But... You know, and I can't blame the dogs, because they're just being dogs. It was a gray dog that had her last. I didn't really see what happened. Um, but uh, he was probably the coup de grace. I can't blame him, because he's just being a dog. Um, I blame myself, because um, I didn't introduce her as a member of the pack to all the dogs. Once they had known, I'm sure, you know, once they had uh, accepted her, that they, they wouldn't have gone after. Uh, but I feel bad because uh, I taught Muni to trust dogs. Because, you know, uh, the dogs I just mentioned, she trusted. And I feel doubly bad because she just wanted to be with me. She just wanted to follow me and you know because of a uh, a stupid way that a carpenter uh, left a two inch gap under our front door she still a small kitten and she was so she got out underneath that gap in the door and was following me to the chick room and the dogs got her and um, I just feel terrible about it. I, you know, um, I, I take full responsibility. I just didn't, I didn't teach her properly. I didn't teach the dogs properly. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Muni's a little cat that I found in a trash can. <clears throat> next to the municipal hall. And so we named her Muni. Uh, Maricel named her Muni. 
and you know it just I feel bad that you know I, I rescued her rescued her from one death and um, allowed another one to happen I'm grateful that uh, we had her for the time that we did anyway <clears throat> Muni's gone and this is where we buried her so a sad day for us um, it was hard making that video at the fish pond it was hard making the video down to Zola pit I miss my little friend. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.